Hey guys, it's Monica. Oh, ignore my nails. Ignore the nails. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, not a huge declutter, but I need to go through all of my concealers. I have some color correctors in here, just a couple of things. Um, a lot of this stuff is old. A lot of, this, some of the stuff isn't even concealer, which I don't know why it's in my concealer drawer. But I just want to go through and I want to get rid of hopefully at least half of what I have. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first concealer I have here is the e.l.f. I don't even know what the name is of these because they don't actually put the name on the bottom. They just have the shade name. It's in light. This one, it's really dark for being like their lightest concealer shade. That is almost darker than my skin tone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one because I can't really use it as a concealer. This next one is actually a foundation sample which is almost gone so I thought I would use it as a concealer but I haven't really used it. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the color, I think it's, yeah, right there. It's Y245. So I've had this for a while, it's a little old, um, I only have a little bit left, not really enough for a full face. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on my vanity. If I don't use it, you know, tomorrow for foundation or mix in or something, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Next I have two shades of the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have one in Light Pale, which is this one right here, and then I have the color Fair. Now fair, it's it's way too pink for me. I've tried using it, but every single time that I use it, my I just look off, and that's because it's a cool undertone, it's really pink, and I can't really use this at all. Now the fair, this one is like my perfect skin tone match, so I can't really use it under my eyes just because it is so close to my own skin tone, but I do use this to spot conceal on days when I don't really wear makeup. So I am going to hold on to this one and I am going to get rid of the more pinky one. Next one I have is the Tarte Aqua Sealer, the Rainforest of the Sea. It's this little bottle and I have this shade Medium Sand. Now I think I could have gone a shade lighter with this one because so you can see it's so much lighter. There you go. So you can see it's so much lighter than that um that elf one. It's so dark. And that's your lightest shade, by the way. Now the Tarte is a, um, a nice formula. I do like how moisturizing it is under the eyes, but this is too dark for under my eyes. So I've tried using this to spot conceal around my face. It does not work that well. Um, so I really do want to try this in a shade that would match me better. So I'm going to get the shade that's um, one shade down from Medium Sand and try that one out. And this one I'm just gonna hold on to until I get that other shade because if it doesn't you know match me perfectly I might see if I can mix these two together next I have a little sample of the Kat Von D locket concealer creme and I have the color M19 cool now I do love this formula I've worn it a couple of times it lasts all throughout the day and it doesn't crease at all on me but this color is way too dark. It is way too dark. What I really wanted to do is get, they have a mini set at Sephora where it has like one of these and it also has one of her, um, has one of her like locket, the powder foundation, not the powder foundation, but like the loose powder. So I want to get that one in the lighter color because I do love this formula, but it's just, it's way too dark and I can't use it under my eyes. Next I have my Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer, it used to be called the Erase Paste and I have this in the color number 2. This is an excellent dark circle cancel for me, it is just the perfect shade, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, and I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. Next I have, to, to nobody's surprise whatsoever, the Tarte Shape Tape. I have the color Light Medium Honey. Now this one is literally the exact color of my skin. Like I think this is like the closest color match to my face. So my face is naturally lighter than the rest of my body just because of sunscreen and how much I exfoliate. So this is actually a perfect match to the skin on my face, which means I don't really use this as a highlighter as much as I would like. 
because it doesn't really brighten it just it just conceals so I do love it for concealing um but it doesn't really do much brightening for me so I, I really want to use this up before I go ahead and get that next lighter shade because there really isn't anything wrong with it it works just fine it's just not as bright as I'm used to for a concealer so I'm gonna hold on to this one okay the next one I have is the Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 20 sand this one I've been on the fence about I like the color and I like how um, moisturizing it feels on the skin but I just I don't feel like the coverage is there um, so I think I'm gonna try this one or two more times and if I don't like the way that it wears I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it so that one will kind of be on my chopping block for now next I have ooh, next I have the elf a maximum coverage concealer and this is in the shade porcelain right there on the bottom so this one is probably one of the thickest concealers I have ever, ever used. It, it's definitely a nice color, a nice tone. I just don't like using it under my eyes because of how thick it is. It tends to crease like mad. So I do use this as a spot concealer. Um, so I'll go ahead and hold on to the e.l.f. concealer, maximum coverage concealer. I have the Dermacol Film Studio Full Makeup Coverage. I know this is technically a foundation, but there's no way in hell that I could use this as an actual all-over face foundation just because of how thick and how high coverage it is. I do have um, a lot of hormonal breakouts right now, but nothing that I would see the need to wear this um, on my entire face. So I do use this to spot conceal, and it really is... A great shade match. Go ahead and so it's super thick. It's a really nice match. I like the tone and I use this to um, actually pinpoint conceal and I use this eyeliner brush from Sigma. It is, what's the number? It is the E05 from Sigma and I use this to just spot conceal on days where I don't want to wear a full coverage foundation but I do want to cover up whatever breakouts that I do have. So I am going to hold on to this. A tube of this will literally last you forever because I've had this for almost six months and I've used that much of the tube. A lot. I have the Physician's Formula. Oh, where, where are you going? Oh. Next, I have the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Concealer. I've only used this one once or twice, and I just remember it creasing horribly under my eyes. Creasing, um, let's not repeat ourselves, Monica. I also really don't like the pump on this. You don't really get a lot of control over how much that you're pumping out because of how thick it is. You really don't need a whole lot of um, a whole lot of product. And with the pump, like I pressed as lightly as I could and tried to just pump out a little bit. That's the minimum that I can really pump out, and that right there is already like too much for your under eyes if you're going to use your under eyes. And if you're going to spot conceal, it's a little too much, too. But as you can see, it's real real thick real high coverage and I feel like with this one it just sits on the skin it doesn't sink into your skin it doesn't um it doesn't make your skin look like skin like this looks like I'm wearing a mask so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one so next I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade light now, I think this one is actually too light for me. Yeah. And it does have um, cool undertones, so I'm not sure if this is something that I can really use that much anymore. It was one of the first high-end concealers that I bought, and it did cost a decent amount of money. I forgot exactly how much, but it's like 20, 20 something dollars for a concealer, which for the first high-end concealer I bought, this was this was a lot. But then again, I wasn't that great at color matching or knowing exactly what I was looking for at the time. So I think this one is going to be a pass for me just because the color is off. And when I've worn it, 
you know, I, it hasn't ever looked great on my under eyes. So. And last but not least, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer, and this is in the color Natural. Now, one thing I will say, this is incredibly affordable. It was one hell of a process trying to find my color in this concealer. Uh, that's the one thing when it comes to drugstore products. Um, you really don't know what you're getting until you get home and you open it up and you put it on your skin. Um, this color is my closest match and it does work well for me, but before this I did buy three other shades of this foundation in order to find my color. Um, my local CVS actually just got LA Girl about, um, about like two weeks ago. And so now they had the full shade range right there and that would have definitely helped me when I was looking. When I first got this, I was buying everything off of Amazon. So I was looking at colors, trying to find swatches online, um, and then natural ended up being the closest thing. It does come with a brush. Um, I hated like the, the brush that was on the end of this right there. So I cut off the brush just to make it kind of like just a regular squeeze tube because the brush just the application was really choppy and not that great but the product itself is good now I like this shade because it does cancel out a lot of um, the discoloration on my under eyes the coverage is I wouldn't say it's high coverage It's definitely a nice medium coverage it built it doesn't um, you know interact with my foundations in a bad way um, Overall, this is just a really good concealer, and I've already decluttered the other, like, three shades that just didn't work for me, so I'm left with the one that actually does. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. Alright, so we did a pretty good job. Everything on this side right here on the left are all the things that I've decluttered and I'm going to get rid of, and then everything on the right is what I'm keeping. I am decluttering one, two, three, four, five, six concealers and keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So not quite half and half. But I am very happy with where my concealer collection is now. I only have things that I actually really enjoy, really know that they work, um, and actually work, you know, knowing that they're the right color. So I am very happy with this. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend with me today, and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Ah, don't do that. Bye.